Pirates Pie. <laughs> That's good. All right. Great. Yeah, just tell me, you know, hey, when you first got the call from me, you know, what, well, what, what, was, your, what was your thinking? Well, at first I thought it was a gag. You know, hey, I got this boat in Maine, 48 footer, I'm going to bring it out and needs a little work. I thought, mm, you know. Then I got to talking to you and I realized you had a boat, so that's big. And then uh, we traded some emails and whatnot. You sent me some pictures. And then you were going to load the boat up and bring it here, but you had a little accident, broke the mast. So that set us back a few months. <clears throat> but that was okay. I had other stuff to finish up, Cheerios and mast and all that. Then when I saw the boat, when it first came here on the trailer, you, uh, it was pretty obvious there was a lot of short planks and stuff going on. But uh, I had that mast job on Cheerio, so we went ahead and put you back in the water and you made a nice trip to Catalina and uh, here we are. And uh, now we're doing sister frames. Well, here, let's talk, uh, do me a favor, just slide yeah. a little bit this way and then, yeah. and, and look at me. You have to okay. Look, okay, don't just look away, you have to kind of look, look at me. Okay. And, uh, you know, tell me, um, when you first set eyes on her, just like forgetting mm -hmm. the work, what, what, tell, tell me about her style and, and what, what did you think of you? experience with these kinds of posts, but just give me your yeah. feeling about her. Really. Well, I had seen the pictures you emailed me, and uh, so it wasn't a real big surprise when I saw her. Uh, it's a pretty boat, Lauren Giles design, and uh, uh, it's got some pedigree going on there. But, you know, she's pushing 60, and uh, it's time to, to take care of Grandma. <laughs> so that's where we're at now it's 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 really a question of putting a new bottom on her and, and as you know and, and uh, some frame repairs not so bad but it's to be expected um, we have to do some repairs to the forefoot um, and some other stuff but aside from that it's basically a big planking job that's all and I, I imagine you want to get some pictures of the, the tree we bought <laughs> the wood is a sapile. It's a cousin of African mahogany. It's from Africa. It's getting a lot of rust. Hello. Was I doing something to the wire? No, no, it's just. Are you hearing this good? What's that? Oh, I'm hearing fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you, so yeah, let's talk about uh, conditions of a 50 year old boat. I mean, it's about what you would expect, uh, and that's one of the reasons we had it x rayed. And that showed us all the keel bolts and the structural bolts and so forth. And we found a few things. One of them we've already fixed. Um, because you just can't know. You know, somebody says, well, I put these bolts in. When did you put them in? And, and so the x-ray showed, you know, the bolts to be pretty nice, as you saw. And <clears throat> so there's not much of that going to go on. The only bolt work we're going to have really is uh, when we do that cap on the forefoot. Then we've got to take every bolt out of every floor timber and um, redrill and so forth. But aside from that, as a 50-year-old boat goes, she's better than most all of the ones I've seen, uh, partly because of her original construction. And you know, the, the only problem she really had was some of the hasty repairs. And I realize that that's a, a large function of the short sailing season back in Maine. You know, oops. Let's fix her, put her back in the water. And uh, so, and that's okay to do if you know that you're going to be eventually someday going long, going large. And that's what we're doing now. And so. so you feel like the, it's worth doing the renovation of the boat? Yeah, I do. I mean, worth is a funny word in today's market, you know. But what are you going to do? Sell it and buy a fiberglass boat? You know, a Catalina 42? No, it, it's just one of those boats you got to, if you can afford it, you got to keep it. You know, you got to take care of it. Um, to, how about to a boat, to somebody who's interested in repairing and, uh, and working on wooden boats? Like, if you were watching this as, as a video, what, what would be one, some of the things you'd hope to see that you might be able to show? Hey, you know, for people who are interested, I'm going to tell you we're going to have some interesting <clears> stuff here. Is it all pretty routines? Well, I, I tell you, uh, one of my favorite things is planking. And the reason I like the technology, it's old, but it's still good. And the planking is, of course, what keep, makes it a boat, what keeps the ocean out. It's a, it's a te funny technology. It's, it's, it's so many people make it tougher than it should be. And I think, in answer to your question, uh, that I would like to see some of that go on, to s show how to simplify the planking process. Not that there's anything simple about it, but take a lot of the math and the trigonometry and all that out of that. 
to keep the numbers game in a minimum. So that you just, you know, it's a kind of a touchy feely thing sometimes. But I think that would be a good thing for people to see because it's just not seen anymore. When I was growing up, we didn't even look twice, you know, everything was wood. <clears throat> Nowadays, there's just not that many around anymore, so it'd be an interesting thing for people to see, I think. So this week we're going to see sister framing. Right. What, what, what do you think people will see on this week's episode of <laughs> Restoring Susanna? In Area 51. Yeah, uh, what are we going to see here in Restoring <laughs> Susanna? Well, we're going to work mainly on the frames this week, and um, soon we'll have to get out to the lumber stack and start spreading it out to see our various shapes in the lumber and begin to designate which piece goes where. Um, and again, we'd like to get the first three or four planks in the bills for sure in full length. Uh, we have the lumber to do that. After that, it's really a function of setting out your butt schedules and so forth. But to answer your question, this week is, yeah, uh, sister frames, more plank removal, and maybe by the, towards the end of the week, we might start getting the garbage in. So, yeah, because with the garbage, they don't have to go in right away. But until they're in, we can't keep start taking more planks off. Okay, so the garbage will go in, and we'll move some more planks. And the first broad strakes will begin to go in. Um, and at that point, we've stabilized the lower portion of the hull again. And now we can just go to town on the upper planks and do what we need to do. As we talked earlier, you know, we want to see if we can reestablish re that inch and an eighth thickness or whatever that she once was, because there's areas where she's down to seven eighths and probably less. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll certainly give it a try, you know. <laughs> but I think we should be done with the lower sister frames this week and the garbage starting on. Next week will probably be, we will have to uh, address the uh, forefoot after the garbage because everything comes off of that and we'll have to uh, spend a few days with that. While that's going on though, I think the guys can take off some more planks and do some more cleanup and you know, that sort of thing. Very good, yeah. thank you very much. Okay.